today's Christmas day for Martina. Christmas! Martina received her packages from Amazon. How long did they take? A week. Four weeks. Yeah. What did we get for Christmas? Ferminator. Ferminator. Take the fur off the cat. De shedding tool. De shedding tool. Antenna. Whatever Antenna for it. the Wi Fi. Yep. Cordless charger. My cordless charger because my all my cables are broken and my phone is not working. This is amazing. Tripod. Woo. Instagram. Gable. Because Woo. all of my Apple products have defect. Well, it's lovely to be where we are, parked where we are. We ordered from Amazon.co.uk. It took four weeks to get here. Three and a half, four weeks. But we're not rushed for time, so it doesn't matter. Money poor. Time rich. <laughs> You're poor. You're poor. So what? <laughs> today Martina is going to the vet. Dobby. This Dobby has a weird mouth infection. Dobby. Dobby. She's got stomatitis, which means she's got a bad infection of the mouth because of probably Khaleesi virus, so she might have to get over teeth pulled. You seem to be going to the vet once every few days lately, don't you? Because I've got a big heart and I'm rescuing all the cats from Greece. Could become a vegetarian. No thanks. Dobby's just got back from the vet. Poor Dobby. Oh. What was wrong with her? Well, apparently she was bit by something, well, someone, a cat, which probably is Simba, um, in the mouth. So they might have been playing too hard and he might have beat her. Yeah, so that's it. Became infectious and now she's got bacteria. So we had to shape all of her face off and put her on meds and clean it up. Where is the culprit? Oh, are you? <laughs> what have you done to Dobby? What have you done to Dobby? Same back. Same back. So this is our current puck spot. We've in fact been here for a very long time. Maybe two and a half months now. Uh, part of that reason is because there was a lockdown in Greece so we couldn't actually move and the farmer was happy with us staying here. And also I got stuck in the UK for a month. I went back what was supposed to be a week, ended up being a month uh, because I had symptoms of coronavirus and so I couldn't travel, I had to self-isolate. But it's getting extremely hot here. So we're gonna move the van because it is in the sun all day. And which is great for solar, but not good if it's 30 degrees in the sun. So we have found another spot. Uh, it's right where we fill up for water actually. And it's uh, it's not on anyone's land. It's, it's near a football pitch. And it's right next to some tall trees. So we're gonna get shade maybe half of the day, which is perfect. So we've decided to move tonight. Managed to find the cats in the van after climbing. So we easily just lock the cat flap. Uh, the next task is getting the dog in the car. Wow, look at this. How'd you do it last time? Now, get on it. I'm sorry, Simba. Cats aren't gonna like this. They've been here for a long time. Just about to move and Martina's tie is flat. <laughs> There's some sort of nail in it. Everything packed up, even the dogs in the car. Bye bye, park spot. Oop, that's quite close. Ah! <laughs> Literally a five minute journey, and the dog puked everywhere. Thank God we bought this sheet off Amazon. Just had to scoop it out. Dog, go! <laughs> Did you have a fun time? Nope. <laughs> I wanted to move the dog and obviously I got a flat tire somehow. Two nails, two holes, and then the dog vomited everywhere. So We had to leave Gatto, didn't we? We did, but we'll go get it again. Poor Gatto's all on his own. It's not like during the daytime he's always on his own, but anyway. That's so true. we're gonna get him tonight when we feed him. That's true. Dog vomited all over the cover yesterday. Just a good job we had the cover on. This is the flat tire. 
Gonna have to change this before we do anything today. Seems to be a heat wave here again in Greece. 31 degrees. Unbearable. So we're hitting the beach, woo! This one. <laughs> You're very cute. Mm -hmm. You're very pretty, eh? You like Simba. He's prettier than Simba. He's got the same tail, formulated equally. Cute. How cute is this cat, Martina? The cutest cat I've ever seen. Simba! <laughs> smells very nice. <laughs> Him. <laughs> I'm standing here right now. If this guy's no one's cat, we are all going to adopt him. We're gonna have three cats. Martina's getting drunk on the ma mojitos. What's that? Head of fly was annoying me. Fishy. Can we already get to Yes, yes, yes. This, 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 this. Get an omelette with cheese and ham. <laughs> what about a kilogram of wine? Someone's joined us for dinner. Hello. Hello. So Martina has amazingly found Doggo a home, uh, which was really hard in fact, because you know, there are so many stray dogs in Greece and there's no RSPA, RSPCA or anything like that, any society. So she's done an amazing job. How did you find Doggo a home? Well, I just had to think outside of the box. Outside? Out of the box a little bit. <laughs> because every other attempt of finding him a dog has failed. And therefore, I thought about there could be some Facebook groups with foreigners living in Athens, which I hadn't thought about before. So I went in and they looked and I found two. And then I did a little post on both of them. And within like half an hour, I got three people interested. Amazing. And the lady has requested for the dog to be tested for this. Yeah, because she already has another dog and so she does. She wants to make sure that Doggo doesn't have like any disease or anything that you could pass on to her dog. Quick! Get in! How was the vet today? Uh, it was good. We got Doggo tested for leishmaniosis and all sorts of like diseases. It tested negative, so that's good. And we finally checked this um, age and he's like under one year old and it's good to go tomorrow I'm gonna go to Athens and drop him off with his new family Woo! we are using this time feeding him to put the untated thingy What's going on here? What's going on? This is Gatto's new spot. <laughs> Gatto's looking much, much better. Wow, it's not a really cat. It's got really dirty ears though. It's a funny cat, this one. It just follows you everywhere you go. Dinner time! <laughs> He's an angry one tonight, as always. Five hundred grams of food per day. 
Thank you.